right now there is no justice in our land there's no just there's no righteous judgment we live and I'm talking about those who call themselves Christians who are supposed to rule and have authority over our land we rule in a sensual way and we're always striving within ourselves James says if you have bitterness and envy and strife in your hearts glory not and lie not against the truth for that wisdom does not come from above that wisdom is earthly sensual demonic and strife doesn't mean in between individuals strife is within ourselves and we're always wrestling within ourselves why because we haven't learned to die to ourselves we haven't learned to lay our lives down when the first church what did they do first they gathered in and then the Lord broke them up because they were supposed to scatter and fight for justice and truth against an army that was a thousand times bigger than them but yet they won and Christianity spread across the world but yet Christianity became lukewarm they became you know they lost their complexion they, they made it about themselves they made it about their little circles there's no fight in them for justice and truth but the good news is is at this last days the Lord's gonna raise them up an army it's called the new crop the new crop are going to lay their lives down completely, surrender their lives. They're not going to be interested in the things in the world. They're not going to be interested in, in the TV and, and all the, the worldliness that's being pushed upon us. They're not going to be interested in their church and their sensual love they have to have for God, you know, where it's not um, a love that is a sacrificial die to myself. See, we are created in His image, right? So we look at God and say, well, you know, the way we express love must be the way God express love. No, God is love, He's holy, and He's eternal. Those three things is what we are designed to be. Holy, eternal, and have His love, express His love. His love in us. It means Christ in us. And God expressed His love when He sent His Son to die for the world and he expects no less than those who become his son's servants the body of Christ to die to ourselves and to live as a light of the world to speak justice and truth into our land willing to be persecuted willing to die for the glory of the Lord that's the love of God the love of God is he's a he's a fighter he's a warrior he knows only few are gonna make it into his eternal presence and those are the ones who die themselves and are made holy and righteous and go through that straight and narrow gate that Jesus himself said few will find but we just made you know God's just love and we made it all about ourselves and all about our church and it's very few people who are fighting for this beautiful land and speaking justice and truth into the land that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father. You can bring all your other religions over here to America. That's okay. Because the truth will set us free. But the truth is very few people who are living in the truth. Very few, few people will actually die to the truth. And allow that truth, Jesus Christ, to manifest in them through the Holy Spirit. Very few people. They're always, like I said... There's always like a, a, a bitterness going on, a war going on in our souls. And the pastor will turn around and say, well, you know what? It's just the Holy Spirit working things out. Wait a second. If you die to yourself, you get baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. I know people, I'm meeting people now, right, who lay down their lives. And then within a year, they're fighting for justice and truth. They just com completely lay their lives down because they knew what baptism was all about. They knew they had to lay their lives down the day they got baptized. And they got full of the Holy Spirit and fire. And then they left their church because they're like, man, you know, there's there's no fight in them. They, they made it all by themselves. It's, it's all joy, joy, joy and beautiful music, but it's all sensual. And I have something in me that's stirring and I have to fight for unborn babies or I have to, to fight against this LTTBQ plus or all these other, you know, alphabets that are coming in. I mean, listen, there's only two genders, male and female. I have to fight for that truth. I have to fight for the sanctity of marriage that can only be between 
a man and a woman and they become one flesh. There's something in me that's just compelling people, to, to, compelling me to tell people the truth. And I know they hate me. Even my church threw me out. I'm hearing that more and more. Then I'm going to bring a woman on a channel who, you know, she's been born again for nine years. And pretty much discarded from her church from her church when her first year because she had a fight in her that wants to speak about justice and truth for unborn babies that was her calling and she's out there fighting she's out there just fighting there's something in her that compels her to fight and say wait a second the way we express love is not God's love God so loved the world, the past tense, that he gave his only begotten son. Now we don't know who is called. We don't know who's going to hear that Jesus Christ is the son of God from heaven and receive the Holy Spirit and with fire. We know most of the church is made up of different spirits and they say it's the Holy Spirit. They didn't believe it's the Holy Spirit because they say, well, we're creating his image. I'm going to repeat this again. So that means the way we love has to be the way God loves. No, God's a warrior. He knows that only those who are made holy and righteous can make it into the kingdom of heaven. So we have to fight for justice and truth, for holiness and righteousness. You know, and when we do that, the holy and righteous spirit of God will manifest himself in those few who actually lay down their lives and die themselves. Therefore is judgment far from us. Neither does judgment overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity for brightness but we walk in darkness and judgment is turned away backwards and justice stands far off for truth is fallen in the street and iniquity cannot enter yea truth fell and he that departed from evil makes himself a prey and the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment let's go to 60 verse 1 arise shine forth thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold, the, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Jesus Christ, the Lord, will glorify himself through a body of believers who laid their lives down, sacrificed their lives, and just made it about holiness. So the love of God can manifest himself in us. Yes, I'm making this in this beautiful land behind me. I'm out in the woods praising God, worshiping the Lord, letting the Spirit build me back up, strengthen me for my fights are in the cities, in the city streets, calling drug addicts out out of darkness into his marvelous light and telling drug dealers, hey listen, if you don't repent, I hope God just takes you right out. I hope you die and go right to hell right now before you destroy another human being's life. But my heart is that they will repent. That's my heart. But I look at the church. I had two prosecutes, pr prostitutes stand by me one day when a whole neighborhood came out and, it, and attacked me. First time I walked in that neighborhood, the prostitutes and the pimps came out. Hey, get out, we don't want to hear it because I was just preaching so it echoes against the buildings and echoes out there and I had two stand next to me and say hey we heard this guy in another neighborhood we need him in this neighborhood I walked around the corner after they broke up you know people left there was a few people who turned around and stand but you know victory was the Lord's because you can feel the spirit of darkness just leave right as these two women stood by me I walked around the corner I started preaching in that corner a church just let out not even a single person offered me a glass of water from that Pentecostal church. They were like shocked that somebody's preaching in this neighborhood against the spirits of darkness. Why? Because they're consumed by these different spirits, but they think, wow, it's just love. And it's the way Satan loves. Because the way God loves is a sacrificial love. It's a love that lays his whole life down as Jesus laid his life down. Jesus wasn't a pot-smoking hippie. He was a warrior. But it takes discernment, and it takes the Holy Spirit to see that. 
So when you get baptized, make sure you baptize into the Son of God. Make sure you know it's going to cost your whole life. Don't listen to these phony preachers who are covering America right now. Listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say. Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died, and He expects you to die with Him so the Holy Spirit can manifest in a power, and now will unify you with a with the body of Christ and they will become the true church not the churches in between walls of thousands and thousands of these pastors all around the place even they can speak the word but they haven't laid their lives down they can speak the word but you can see that they're part of the world too they can speak a beautiful message of the cross but they, you can see that they haven't picked up that cross and lay it daily they don't even have the confidence to speak in their neighborhood outside of the confidence of the pew they cannot preach God. You go to the store with them and they're not telling people in the store that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. They don't want to affect people. They're, they, they just want to make it about themselves. They're worried that if they really preach that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, the life, and there's no other way to heaven, right, they might get shut down or frowned upon, you know. Or people will say, well, you're hateful because you're saying other people are going to go to hell. Yes. I am here telling you, if you don't receive Jesus Christ, and He doesn't abide in you, which most Christians are going to hell, the same with all the other religions are going to hell, only a few people are going to make it out into the straight and narrow gate, because there's only a few, a remnant coming, that are going to be abiding in Jesus Christ, who are going to die to themselves, and let the glory of the Lord lead him and guide him in all truth and all righteousness and fight for this land, fight for justice. And they're going to be hated. They're going to be hated by the church, just like this woman I bring on pretty soon. And they're going to be hated by the world. But guess what? The love of God will be in them and they will make it through the straight and narrow gate. In Jesus' name, receive this. Amen. Trump 2024. Let's fight for this land through justice and truth, through the word of God. Amen.